Hello and welcome and just want to say congratulations on getting access to this video course on how to set up your very own digital membership site. I'm really excited because I'm going to teach you the same exact steps that I use to set up every single one of my digital membership site. All right, so this is video number one, which is the introduction. And again, welcome to your digital membership training. And what I want to do before I get started is kind of give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course. So we have video number one, which I'm going to talk about the introduction, the mindset that you need to be in, because I really am a big believer in getting into the right mindset, because once you're in the right mindset, then everything tends to fall in place a lot quicker. And then we'll talk about tools, which to be frank and honest, you're gonna not really going to need a whole lot of tools. Right off the bat, we'll talk about uh, free tools, we'll talk about paid tools, we'll talk about membership scripts later down the road, but not right now. Video number two, we're gonna talk about your products. You really need to have an idea of what you're selling before you set up your digital membership site. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people buy the membership script and they wanna set it up right away and they don't really know what the plan is. So depending on what your product is, depending on what your price point is in video number three, for example, that will depend on those items will pretty much show you what you need to do. If you don't know these items and you try to set up your membership script, then everything will sound complex. All right. So video number four, we're going to show you how to map things out so that you have a step-by-step -step blueprint or plan and you know exactly what to do and how to activate your plan and that way also when you run into roadblocks you'll know exactly what's ahead of you and it'll be easier to actually move forward a lot of times people don't have a map or a flow chart or a plan so they just jump right in and don't really know what to do next we don't want that to be your case we want you to be able to learn this system implement it fast and be successful Video number five, we're going to talk about different platforms that you can use. Video number six, we're going to talk about the required site pages that are essentially going to be the user's experience. Video number seven, we're going to talk about the recommended scripts, the scripts that we have tested out. We have found that worked well for us over the last decade or even half a decade. And so these are time tested things that we have actually tested out. Video number eight, we're going to talk about setting up part number one and setting up part number two will be video number nine. All right. So very important. I want to make sure that you are in the right mindset. A lot of times, like I said, a lot of people buy the membership script first because they feel like, okay, if I have the tools and I have the software that somebody is using, I will be able to implement a successful plan. And not so much, you're about halfway there, but you don't really want to start there first. What you want to do is plan first. And you'll you'll kind of get an idea of how to do that once I show you how to do that. So plan first, and then we'll talk about scripts and the tools. All right. So before we discuss, you know, what scripts to use, we really need to figure out what you're doing first as you know, different scripts cater to different needs. You know, we could talk about a member pro, which is one script that I personally recommend. And that's something that I've used for the last uh, literally decade and a half, or we could utilize a script that is less than $50 that in my opinion can do a lot more than a lot of the scripts that are a couple hundred dollars out there. So with that in mind and knowing that you, you have different routes that you can go towards, uh, depending on different platforms that you use, we'll talk more about those later on. But for now, I just want you to think about what are you selling? What is your price point? And essentially, what is the value that you're going to give to your customers? If you can think there first, everything else should fall in place. All right. So let's move on to video number two and talk about your products. 
Okay, so welcome back. This is video number two, and we're gonna talk about your product. So obviously you might be thinking, well, isn't this a no brainer because I already know what I'm selling? Uh, yes and no. Uh, the purpose of this video is to really figure out not only what are you selling, but how are you selling it? How are you going to kind of create a user experience? Who is your audience? How do they think? Do they think better a certain way? And all of that, because the way that you portray your products initially for some impression wise can impact whether you get refunds, how long they stay, the stick rate, and all of that. All right, so let's dive in. So the question is, what are you selling? Obviously, I assume you are selling some sort of digital product. But what exactly is that? And I want you to, if you can, pause this video and just jot that down and write what are you selling? What kind of medium are you providing? Are you providing videos? Are you providing an ebook? Are you providing a PDF file? What are you providing? All right, so what are you selling most importantly? Next, I want you to think about who are you selling to? Now, you really have to think about this carefully because a lot of people tend to forget about this. Yes, you might know who you're selling to, but the next question that you should ask yourself is how do they think? How do will they accept the information? So, if you're for example, if you are talking to a specific group that tends to prefer videos, maybe you want to provide your products in the form of videos, or you want to provide more videos and training and so forth. If you're talking to a group that might be more maybe auditory, they might just want workbooks, PDF files, text documents, and auditory, basically MP3 files. So what I'm talking about is learning styles, different learning styles. You have people who are auditory, you have people who are visual, and you have people that are kinesthetic that are more hands-on. Now, the reason why I say that is because this can actually contribute to your refund rate without really even knowing that. So what I'm showing you here is not just how to set up a digital membership site, but also how do you set up a site that can actually retain the members that you get? Because we work really, really hard to get these clients and these, get these customers through the door to pay for the product, you want to keep them, right? So that's the question that you should be asking. It's in and within my audience itself, how do they react to different types of media platforms, to media types? How do they react to different ways that I talk, different ways you know, that I provide the material? So those are just some things to think about. I don't really want you to get bogged down or stuck. I just want you to think about, you know, as you begin to release the content, uh, would it be better to drip feed the content? You know, for example, if you have a large video course that might be several weeks worth of content, do you really want to provide them it to them all at once? Or do you want to drip feed it to them maybe 10 videos per week and give them homework. Because if that's the case, you're gonna need to set up a membership site that is going to drip feed versus if you're gonna give it to all of them at one time, you don't need a drip feed. You don't need to worry about that feature, right? So these are things that you need to think about because as you can see, not all membership sites are created equal. No one script can essentially provide and solve the needs of every, every single uh, different membership site. So that's why if you think about how are you distributing your content, exactly the step-by-step -step process of doing so, then as you can see, your membership's blueprint essentially begins to evolve, all right? So I just want you to just think about those things right now. And also how many products are you including? Are you just including one product? Are you gonna have several one-time offers? Do they need to access those if they bought those? Are you gonna offer back-end offers which they can buy later on so you can increase your lifetime customer value and your, your lifetime profit for that customer? Just things like that you really need to think about because otherwise, if you think about it, 
even right now, if you buy a membership script and you try to set things up and you don't think about these things, then as you can see, your business model might be totally different than somebody else. So just think about those things right now. Doesn't need to be complex at all. I just wanted to cover those three points. And now in video number three, we're going to talk about price points. So what I'm trying to do is keep things simple enough so that you can jot it down. So before you move to video number three, try to jot things down, answer the questions that I've asked you, and we'll see you in video number three. All right, so welcome back. This is video number three, and we are going to talk about price points. Now, I want to keep it as simple as possible so that you have the right information. You can kind of create your blueprint, which we'll do in the next video. And I'm going to use all the things that I talked about in video number two and three. We're going to map it out. You're going to see how you can kind of map it out and customize it to your own needs. And then we will begin to actually implement what we have discussed. Now, obviously there are different price points and depending on what you price and what you charge your customer, that can also show you what exactly you need to do. So there are obviously many different membership sites out there with different price points. Some have a one-time fee. And the goal of this is just to get people through the door and then sell them a bunch of backend products. So that's one thing you could do. You could do upsells, you can do one-time offers, you could do downsells and do all of that. Typically these types of membership sites are a lot easier to create, but your lifetime customer value, or in other words, the amount of money you earn from the customer is actually not as high unless you can really get them to buy all of your backend offers. So essentially what this goal is, is to build a massive list. Now, with this said, these types of membership sites are actually a lot easier to create because it's just a one-time fee with the potential of maybe other back-end products. And then you have kind of the monthly or bi-monthly, quarterly, basically a recurring site. Now, another thing you have to think about is do you want to offer a trial offer? Do you want to offer maybe a setup fee? or how do you want to go about this? If you do a trial offer, you typically have to do maybe a dollar for seven days or how many days you want. Typically, I wouldn't do more than seven days as for recommended advice. But if you do, let's say a dollar for seven days, and then after that, you charge them $27 per month. Now, if you do that, obviously you're going to have a different blueprint than the person that is just setting up a one-time fee. So just some things to think about, jot down what kind of price point you want to do. If you want to do a setup fee, maybe you charge a large fee, like a hundred dollar fee up front. And then every month after that, it's $27 a month. So just jot down what your price point is. Don't think about anything else. Just keep it simple. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to kind of really map everything out. All right, so welcome back. This is video number four, and we are going to map it out. So this is kind of the video where everything that we have discussed up until this point, all your products, how your audience is going to take in the content, how are you going to distribute the content, all of your price points, everything comes together and you're going to feel like, aha, that makes sense. This is my blueprint. Now you're going to create your own blueprint and you're gonna implement it in the future videos. Now, you can use any flow chart system that you want to use. You can even take out a napkin and write on it. You can even take out a piece of paper and write on it. But in this case, I'm gonna be using a program called Lucid Chart. The only reason why I've been using this for the past few years is because I feel like it's a really good flow chart system. It's allowed me to really take things to the next level, take projects that have failed before and successfully implemented those projects. All right. So you can use anything you want, but I'm going to be using lucidchart.com. All right. So let's get started. Okay. So like I said earlier, I am going to be using a web application called lucidchart. That is lucidchart.com. 
And the reason why I am using Lucidchart is because I've used many different flowchart systems, diagram systems, mind mapping systems, and I still ended up coming back to Lucidchart. It's very good in terms of trying to map out your project, map out your membership site, and even map out parts of your business. And really what I found over the years is that a lot of people, they don't really map out their business. And because of that, they end up failing because as they are beginning, for example, to set up their membership site, they don't know which direction they are going into. They are uh, so into, you know, the affiliate programs or the software or the scripts. You know, I've been there and done that, not saying anything that is horrible about that, but I'm just saying that what ends up happening is you are left to kind of wonder where you are supposed to go. Now, you could be using a mind mapping software, but personally, I don't recommend it. I recommend some sort of flow chart system. And Lucidchart, I found you really don't need the complex version. You just need the basic version and give it a try. And I'm pretty sure you'll like it. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to map out a membership site. Now, as you can see here, pretty basic. We have all these shapes and different options that we have. But really what it comes down to is trying to map out your first step all the way to kind of your last step. And by doing that, even if we come to a roadblock and you, you're thinking, wow, I can't go further, I'm frustrated, you can at least see it on the blueprint itself. So you know, okay, there is a next step. I just gotta conquer the step and then I can get to the next step. By creating this, you essentially will create a success plan. All right, so what we're gonna do is, when we first begin to map out the project, we don't have to worry about what is in order. We just kind of put everything on the diagram here, and we just, what we do is we just drop ideas. So, all right, so if we think about our membership site and kind of going to video number two, video number three, we can think, all right, so what is our product? We can say, okay, our product is a bunch, uh, it's a video course or something. And, and this can apply to an ebook, a report, or whatever else. So let's say we have a video course and let's say, okay, how many videos is this? And I'm gonna put down, let's say 40, we'll do 50 videos. And the question being is we all know and we should know from statistics that the reason why people tend to quit and refund is not really because of the amount of videos, it's, it's the being overwhelmed. So if you give them 50 videos at one time, you will overwhelm them and they are most likely going to refund. So the question is, how can I drip feed that? Okay, so. 50 videos, maybe I'll give them 10 videos per week for five weeks, all right? So in this case, I'm definitely gonna have to drip feed it. So I'm gonna put that down, drip feed. Now, in thinking about my audience, uh, I know my audience tends to be very visual and kinesthetic because people who tend to like videos are visual or kinesthetic. Auditory people typically will want things like podcasting and MP3 files and just the audios themselves. So maybe I'll include the MP3 files as well. And maybe to get them to actually complete the work, I'm going to include some sort of action checklist or workbook each and every week. So that means they get 10 videos per week, plus they also get this many things per week as well. So video course, MP3 files, those are just mediums. I'm gonna 
So if you can see here, I'm just kind of categorizing them. I'm not putting them in any order. I'm just kind of getting all my ideas on here. All right, so think about it. Are we going to have like levels? Is there going to be like a free level? Or is there going to be something like a paid level? Obviously, there's going to be a paid level, but are there going to be different levels within the paid level? So something to ask yourself, but to be honest, I wouldn't bog myself down too much about this. And you can jot down, okay, is there going to be an affiliate program? You know, now obviously these are things that are external. So we can look at these later, this one here. This one here would be inner. It's kind of a good idea to figure out if you're going to have levels or not. But main purpose here is implementation. So let's focus on here. So really what I want to show you is don't worry about getting it in any order at whatsoever. Just put these down and then we'll figure these out in a minute. All right. So now that we have talked about learning style, so I'm going to stick with videos. I'm going to do MP3 or auditory folks, people who are kinesthetic like to kind of do hands-on type stuff. So they like to follow along and actually do it along the way. So we have the action checklist and workbook each week. So every week they got homework. So we can put make this as homework. All right, so we've talked about you know, what we're selling, which is a video course, break it down, how we're gonna deliver it. We're gonna deliver it via drip feeding, and who are we selling to? We we talked about learning styles. And then we need to talk about price points. All right, so what are we doing here? So obviously, now that we know that we are distributing it on a drip feed process for five weeks, I think I'm going to do what we call a fixed term membership site. Let's see, 10 videos for the... So we could either do a one-time large high-end fee of like 497 or even 197 or we can do a monthly fee. Now I will say that trying to get somebody to join your monthly membership site up front is a very hard thing to do. Most people nowadays do not like to join monthly sites. They're very very reluctant to doing so. So unless you have some sort of front end offer, you're going to have a very difficult time selling people up front, all right? So just keep that in mind. So if you do want to do a monthly, you probably want to think about selling some sort of even $7 upfront or even 17 or 27 or even $97 upfront, even going from a high number down to a lower monthly rate can actually do pretty well as well. So these are just some of the things that we have tested over time and found to be working. So, so in this case, I'm just going to do a high end fee of $197 uh, for the course. And let's make sure that we put it to the right place. So this is going to be this one here. And let's say that I have a different one where, okay, after they pay the course and maybe, maybe you can add some sort of like community as an element of recurring because at the end of the day, okay, let me tell you a secret. People buy the information initially, but people stay for the community. People like to join Facebook groups, a community, a forum, because if they feel like, okay, I can get help along the way, then they're more likely to stay in a monthly membership site. So actually what you could do is you could add a component of a community. So we could say you could get extra training, you know, extra webinars, extra community, like a Facebook community or something. Facebook or forum. I will say Facebook communities tend to be a little bit more easier to manage. The forums are a little bit more difficult because you have more information, but all right. So as you can see here, let's just do 197 and then let's do a $27 per month. So we're going to tack that on. So essentially what is happening here is we have $197 upfront course 
they're going to get all of the 50 videos, but they're going to get it on a weekly basis. And then after they pay that, they are going to have an upsell that says, hey, would you like to join to get extra training, extra webinars, and join the community so that you're not ever left in the dark, all right? So there you go. I have essentially created a membership site. Now, obviously, you're never going to get everything 100% complete. As what I mean by that is you're never going to get kind of an outline of every single thing you want to do right now. And that's not really the goal. The goal is just to get all of your ideas on a piece of paper and then reorganize them as the next step. So let's let's do that right now. Let's reorganize it. So right now, obviously, we have free level. And I would recommend if you do free level, do like content marketing, do find videos here that you find people would really, really want to pay for and then create some content like free content around them. So you get them into the door and then you get them to a paid level. So let's just do free level, free content. So this would be content marketing. So you could even uh, use this to kind of build a list. Let's put this in order. So obviously we got free level and then we're going to make an arrow to go from here to here. And from the free content, we are going to build a list like that. And then we're obviously going to want to sell people into the pay level. So build a list. And then of course we are going to use the autoresponder system to sell the course. So you're basically providing as much value as possible to get them into the paid level. Now, of course, at this point, we kind of need to move things around here. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to move it down a little bit so that I can play around with things a little bit here. All right. So I'm going to make space right here. And this doesn't have to be fancy or anything like that. Right now, I'm just kind of reorganizing them so that it under, makes sense in a step-by-step -step process. So obviously pay level, that's going to be the 50 videos. So let me consolidate everything. 50 videos, video course. I don't need this. And I'm going to say $197 up front. And delete that and I'm gonna move this up here right here like so so that's the pay level is the 50 videos video course $197 up front and then of course what they're going to get is they're gonna get the mp3 files they're gonna get the action checklist and this is the recurring fee here I'm going to move this here. So let me zoom in a bit so you can see it better. But the way we're going to deliver it is we are going to deliver it via the action checklist, the MP3 files, and they're going to get it drip fed. I don't need this. I can consolidate it into here. So I'm actually going to move this over here like that. There we go. So we're going to drip feed it via 10 videos per week. And what, what I like about Lucidchart, if you notice, if I move things around, it makes sure that everything is aligned correctly. So it really makes things nice and neat. So 
you don't have to figure out where the grid lines are and you can really organize things in a better way. So we're going to drip feed. Let's see, MP3 files of videos. And actually we can consolidate that into here like that. All right, so that's a pay level. They can go here and then they get these automatically. And then we have the upsell, which I'm going to say, I'm going to consolidate that. Like that. And I'm going to do upsell number one. So if you wanted to do any downsells or anything like that, you could. Uh, but I'm going to keep it simple like this. $197 up front and $27 per month extra. And there we go. So by looking at this, we have external sources like affiliate programs. We can even add things like how are we going to promote it, which is actually part of the affiliate program that could be affiliate program that could be we could have a Facebook fan page and there we go so I'm not going to connect the promotion side to it yet but I'm going to kind of color code it now so this is the free level so what I like about Lucichart is you can literally make it so that you can change the colors so we could have maybe a light blue like that and we can turn the pay levels or we could do paid level the $197 up front and we can make this paid level maybe something like a light green and then we could change the upsell into a different color like a light orange. So all this does is it just allows us to kind of see color code things so that we can kind of categorize things in our brain. Maybe pink, something like that. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit you can see that we have essentially set up a blueprint and of course we can add to this as we go but this is kind of the general thing that you want to have in hand now you can see okay I've got a free level got free content marketing I gotta build a list now obviously inside of these you're going to need to figure out okay what autoresponder am I gonna use how I am what kind of content am I gonna use who I'm am I gonna hire you obviously can add more detail into it later on, but now you have a game plan. All right, so now you have what most people never ever have, which is a game plan. And now we can figure out how we're going to set things up. So now that you have things in hand, we can move on to the next video. Okay, so welcome back. This is video number five, and we are going to talk about platforms. Now, we talked a lot about the blueprint in the previous video, so I want to make this short, quick, and easy for you to just get through in the next five videos so that you can begin the implementation process. Now, platforms is a crucial thing to think about. If you think about a lot of the membership scripts nowadays, they actually have WordPress plugins or even non WordPress plugins. So you really have to think about what is your main site going to be using. So I would say probably the majority of you are probably going to stick with WordPress just because the majority of themes out there is just basically made of WordPress. 
you have things like optimized press you have things like insta builder you have other things like thrive themes that are focused on wordpress and it's just super easy to go to places like themeforest.net and get a wordpress platform literally a theme to get set up really really fast now some of you might decide hey i'm not going to be using wordpress I'm going to be using plain HTML coding, or you might be having an old system, an old site that you want to use. And realistically, some of you may not have WordPress. Some of you may not be starting from scratch and you might already have a website that is built, that is getting sales and you need to know how to integrate a membership script into it. So if that's the case, I'm going to make sure that I talk about two different scripts that we have tested over the last few years and found work for both platforms. All right. So, so right now, what I want you to think is which one are you going to use? If you're going to start from scratch, you might want to stick with WordPress. If you aren't and you are using HTML, you want to stick with non WordPress. All right. Now, before I end this video, I want to show you where you can get themes that you can set up for your members area or even for your sales page. Now, if you go to a place that is themeforest.net, that's themeforest.net. And if you go over here, you will actually be able to find WordPress themes and HTML themes as well. So as you can see up at the top, you have the categories for WordPress right here and you can just pick and choose depending on what area what niche you are in and then of course up at the top here if you want to go the non wordpress route which is html you can go under the html category here and find templates that would fit your niche now i will say wordpress is a lot easier to set up all you have to do is install wordpress get a theme and it's literally newbie friendly. So for those of you who have the old HTML, most of you would probably be somewhat techy. So if that's the case, you should be able to find with no problem. All right. So with that said, let's move on to the next video and we'll talk about pages that every single membership site must have. Hello and welcome to video number six. We're going to talk about the required site pages. Now, obviously these are pages that every single membership site should have, but it doesn't really limit you. You definitely can have more than that, but these pages should definitely help lower your refund rate, not guaranteed necessarily, but in our tests they have. So definitely the first page in this case would be the welcome page. So in addition to a welcome page, you might want to have a welcome video. And if you can't do this yourself, I'd recommend going on Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Do a search for video spokesperson and look for somebody to do a video for you. If you cannot do the video yourself. Now this welcome page should have a welcome video, like I said, and it should welcome people. It should thank them for becoming a member. And more importantly, it should guide them through what they need to do next. A lot of times people join a membership site and they don't know what to do next. So then they get confused, they get frustrated, they get angry, and then they get a refund. And you don't want that. So that welcome video should walk them through all of your site pages. So typically you wanna do this last when everything is said and done so you can guide them through the process of how to use your site, how to use the modules, how to contact you if they need problems. And really the source of refund rates tend to be that, or of course the next thing uh, being overwhelmed. So the next thing is you definitely want to have modules or categories. What I recommend that you do is split your site up so that it is consumable. What I mean by that is that you split your site up into bite sized pieces so that people can consume it, they can learn it, but they're not going to get overwhelmed. So it's okay if you have more modules, as long as you break things up in a sequential or logical breakdown, it's going to help you in the long run. 
And then of course you want to have a contact page. Long, long time ago when we ran membership sites, a lot of times we would forget this page. And unfortunately, people would also do refunds because they could not contact us. So when it comes down to what help desk should you use, we have found there are two that are really good. We have tested Fresh Desk. We really love that. But we also have heard really, really great things about Zendesk, which is very, very similar to those. And having a help desk is actually easier than responding via email because then you have everything in a centralized location. You can log in every so hours and see it. And you can also outsource this and hire a customer support rep to actually do it for you. Then of course, you definitely want to have some sort of training. And what I mean by training is it, it shows them how to use your product to the next level, how to use your product to the max essentially. And the reason for that is because a lot of times people log into your membership site and they may not know how to use it, which is the welcome video. But in addition to that, they may not know how to use it beyond what you have given them. So giving them some extra training to help them take things to the next step is going to be crucial. And then of course, this is not required, but having a community, especially a Facebook group is a definite plus. Now you could potentially use this as a upsell or a one-time offer. So you could charge a fee to get people into your door like we showed you in the blueprint in video number four. And then of course, have an upsell or a one-time offer and get people into your community. So having those things are definitely crucial for any membership site no matter what niche that you are in. All right. So if you want to stick with that, that's fine. If you want to add to that and add different site pages that you feel like your audience and your niche will be able to relate to, go for it. All right. So with that said, let's move on to video number seven. Hello and welcome to video number seven. We are going to talk about the recommended scripts now that you have a blueprint in hand. So depending on if you're going to use WordPress or if you're not, this is going to kind of give you a guide to what the next step is. Now, keep in mind that we have actually tested these two scripts and a member, for example, ha we have been using it for the last decade and a half. And the next script after that, which is a script that you will find on a site called code Canon, we have tested in the last couple of years and actually found this script to be actually more powerful than a lot of scripts that actually cost hundreds of dollars out there. All right. So let's show you what the scripts look like. So in my opinion, a member pro is kind of the mother of all membership scripts. And the reason why I say that is because a member pro has been around for a long, long time. They have been around for well over a decade. And when it comes to membership sites, they have developed a script that is so powerful. It is more powerful than a lot of scripts that I have seen. I like it because they are constantly updating their system. They have awesome support. And plus, in addition to that, if you have problems setting up your script, they will actually charge you only $80 to set things up. Plus you can also contact them and you can say, Hey, I want to do this and that to my site and they will actually do it for you for a low, low fee. In fact, we've actually had them do custom programming for us to integrate it into a payment gateway that hasn't been available anywhere else, literally for less than a couple hundred bucks. So in addition to that, I want to show you this because I want you to know that their customer support is amazing. I have not ever really seen any customer support better than this. And they really go above and beyond. Now, a member pro is really good. If you want to run a digital membership site integrated into a forum, you can use it to do things like send opt-in newsletters via SMTP. You can run your own affiliate program and you can do a lot within just this site. A lot of times 
with WordPress plugins, you buy a membership script and it allows you to do a good amount of things, but you have to buy extra things in order to do things like affiliate programs and add on other things that are not within the core plugin. So if you just kind of want an all in one, everything laid out, a member pro is pretty much the best thing you will find. In fact, we use this on many of our sites, very, very secure. Uh, you can lock down a lot of your digital goods and you can be happy and feel safe and secure knowing that they are constantly updating their software. Now, of course, a member pro does come with a price now compared to what is out there. In my opinion, it's actually not too bad. There's no monthly fees. There is a fee if you want updates, but you don't have to have that, but you can do a lot of things. As you can see here, you have coupon codes. You can integrate literally into 200 payment systems. You know, you can integrate it into PayPal. You can integrate it into Stripe. You can integrate it into tons and tons of payment systems, JVZoo, and it'll, you can do one-time products. You can do recurring products. You can do trials. This is pretty much the membership site owner's dream. Now I will say a member pro is a little bit more complex to use. So it, it can integrate into things like WordPress into Joomla into all these different platforms, but it is a little bit more complex. So I will admit that, but like I said, they have one of the best customer support. So if you have problems, you can contact them. Now keep in mind that their support operates in European time. So it is opposite of United States time. So just keep that in mind. But if you're willing to take a plunge, I would say this is, in my opinion, one of the best softwares. Now, a member pro is actually better integrated into HTML sites, but it can integrate into WordPress. Now, is it as super user friendly? I think now it is, it wasn't back in the day, but it's actually very, very easy to integrate into basic HTML sites. So if you are choosing a non WordPress platform, I would recommend a member pro. Now, if you are using WordPress, then in this case, I would recommend a script called the ultimate membership pro WordPress plugin. Now, do not be deceived by the price. It's $28, which is not a lot of money compared to a lot of WordPress membership scripts out there. So if you go to a site called codecanon.net, codecanon.net, and do a search for the Ultimate Membership Pro, you will find this plugin right here. Now, if we take a look at the plugin, you will see that it actually offers a lot of features that you would normally have to pay for extra in other WordPress membership scripts. Now we have actually time tested this and we have found that this script can do a lot. You can do multiple levels. You can do free or paid memberships. You can restrict pages, which should be standard on all WordPress plugins. You can do multi payments. You can accept PayPal Stripe and a lot of other things. You can do recurring payments. You can even do social logins, which means somebody doesn't have to create an account. They can simply use their Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn social login. And then of course you have menu protections, coupons, trials, drip feeding, which is what we talked about, content locking, email verification. You can restrict specific URLs. You can do custom fields, special fields. You can even do conditional logic, email marketing. There are many, different marketing platforms that it will integrate into. You can do PayPal, you can do Stripe, you can do to checkout, authorize.net, bank transfer, Paza, and a lot more. So the list just continues and continues literally and goes on and on and on and on. Plus I checked back a few months ago and they literally have added more features and have gotten it to integrate with WooCommerce. So that's another thing that I like about this script is it is literally one of the scripts that a lot of WordPress companies will use, but a lot of other membership sites will actually use as well. And it is kind of hidden out there because it's in the Envato marketplace. So a lot of people just don't know about it. And I'm telling you now for 28 bucks, 
most grips actually nowadays cost at least a hundred to a couple hundred dollars. So this script is actually very cheap, especially if you are on a budget. So I'm just showing you these two scripts are scripts that we have time tested and liked. There is another script for WordPress that is called Wishlist Member. We have tested this. It's, in my opinion, it's very, very powerful, but I feel like I get more bang for my buck with the Ultimate Membership Pro. All right. Hello and welcome to video number eight. And we're going to talk about setting up your membership site. Now, as I talked about in the previous video, we have two different scripts. We have a member pro, which is a little bit more complex. And what I recommend that you do honestly is just to use their customer service and pay them the $80 to get it set up. And then if you want to learn how to use it, it's actually not super hard to do once it is set up. But I will say, like I said, their customer service is one of the best. So if you want them to tweak it however you wish, they will actually go in and do it. And you can go to places like upwork.com. That is upwork.com. And you can actually find programmers who are experienced in a member pro because it has been out for well over a decade. All right. And then I'm going to show you how to set up the actual WordPress plugin, which is the ultimate membership pro. So that's what this video and the next video is going to be about. It's going to be a thorough process about walking you through, showing you what to set up and how to go about doing that. So before I go ahead and show you how to set up the ultimate membership pro, what I want to do is log into my a member pro account and kind of show you around. So as you can see here, the nice thing about this is this is the membership site owner's dream. And literally you can go in and you can see there are other plugins here that you can add on to a member pro, which allows you to do things like, you know, sell credits. For example, you can have a marketplace where you have many different products and somebody could literally come in and buy a bunch of credits. And then they can use those credits to actually pick and choose what they want. So that's a nice feature to have. So pretty much everything that you can think of, even if something, if, if you want to sell something that might seem kind of very different and would require some sort of highly technical aspect, I'm pretty sure a member pro would probably have it. Or if it doesn't, you can always contact their support. Now I wanted to show you this, but you can actually see that I have used a member pro about for nine years. And since then I have contacted their support and every single time I've contacted their support, they have just been phenomenal. They've really been there to help me out. So even as somebody who is technical, sometimes we run into situations where we just can't resolve the issue. So I found that personally, a member pro, a lot of times the response you will get is directly from the, the actual creator himself. And if not, you will get very highly trained programmers. And that's really what I like about a member pro. So you really can't get lost. You, you can find people who know what they're talking about. You're not going to run into customer support people that don't really know what they're talking about. So, that's the reason why I like a member pro It's very powerful, but very, very great customer support. So now let's talk about the ultimate membership pro WordPress plugin. So after you go ahead and pay for it, which is 28 bucks, um, as of now, it looks like there's a discount. Sometimes there's going to be a discounts. And even if it was $50 and it went the price raised, in my opinion, I feel like the amount of features that they're constantly adding to it is going to be very, very great for you. So what you need to do is simply click download, click download all files and documentation. So it does come with documentation, which is great. So if you have any questions or run into any problems and things that I may not cover on this video, there is detailed documentation on there. And then of course you can contact the seller themselves. They offer support as well. 
All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is installing WordPress. So in order to install WordPress, obviously you'll need to either do it yourself or get somebody else to do it for you. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to install WordPress. All right. So when you log into your web hosting panel and most of you and the majority of you will have what we call C panel. And if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, typically you will either find Fantastico or you will find a, a newer software application called Softaculous. So I would say the majority of you will still see Softaculous and some of you will see the happy smiley face called Fantastico. Either way, all they are is they are basically software applications built in to cPanel which allow you to install WordPress with less than three clicks of the button. All right. So I'm going to go through the process of using Fantastico here. So we're going to go to WordPress. We're going to click on new installation. And then of course we'll install it in a directory. Now in this case for you, most of you, you will be installing it on the domain itself. So you'll simply leave this blank. You'll enter the username and password that you want. You'll enter the site name and the description, and then you click on install WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay. So after I have installed WordPress, literally all you have to do is go to yourdomain.com slash WP dash admin. So yourdomain.com slash WP dash admin, or if you're like me and you install WordPress in a subfolder, it's going to be yourdomain.com slash the subfolder name slash WP dash admin. All right. So now that you have done that, we have logged into the administrative panel as we can see here. And now all we need to do is simply install the WordPress plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and locate the file that I went ahead and downloaded. And next I am going to go ahead and unzip this. And next, as you can see here, there is a main files folder. So we're going to go into it. And then of course you see there is a documentation folder. If you click on the index.html file and you open that up in something like Chrome or your other internet browser, this basically allows you to, to get item support. If you ever run into problems, you can contact their support help desk and you also have access to their knowledge base. Now, as you can see here, it's, it's pretty simple, straightforward installation process. It tells you that the indeed dash membership dash pro dot zip file is the WordPress plugin itself. So I'm going to show you how to install that in just a minute. Really, really easy. So if we go back over here, this is the plugin here. So now all I need to do is simply go over here. We're going to go back to the WordPress site right here. And I am going to go under plugins. So I'm going to go under install plugins. We're going to click on add new. We're going to click on upload, choose file. We're going to locate the file. As you can see here, click open, click install now. And sometimes that can take a few seconds, depending on your internet connection and upload speed. And we click on activate plugin. And there we go. Now this says this is a trial version of ultimate membership pro. So what we need to do now is we need to add our purchase code. So if we click that here, we're going to see purchase code. And they say in order to get your purchase code, basically the way Envato and code Canon works is you go back to where you downloaded the file, you click on download. And then of course you click license certificate and purchase code. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. I'm going to get the purchase code and add that over here. All right. I'll do it right now. Okay, great. So now, as you can see here, it says you're activated the ultimate membership pro plugin. So we are good to go. Great. Awesome. So, so now we are good to go. Now in order for you to see better, I'm going to collapse the menu so that we can push everything 
to the left. So up at the top, you can see the dashboard. So this allows you to see how many users you have, how many transactions you have, how many total amount of transactions you have. So basically you're having access to the statistics every time you log in. Now up at the top, we have ultimate affiliates. We have the ability to create levels. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through here. So as you can see, you have different levels. You have free levels, you have paid levels, you have recurring levels. And by default, the membership program is actually going to install a few for you. So you can actually see what a free level looks like, what a one-time plan looks like, what a recurring plan looks like. So you can obviously delete these if you don't want them, but they're there so that they can kind of give you a guideline there. And I'm going to give you a deeper run through later on, but for now, I just want to give you a quick overview of everything that is inside this particular membership plugin. And then we'll talk about, you know, set a process and all that in the last video. So next we have payment services and you have the ability to integrate with PayPal, authorized.net, Stripe to checkout, bank transfer, Braintree and Payza. Now, the majority of you would probably be integrating with PayPal and Stripe. So Stripe is very much like a credit card processing system, very much like authorized.net or to checkout. Now, it's probably better if you do this or this or to checkout you can do. They actually allow you to accept PayPal and credit cards as well. So in my opinion, I haven't really seen another membership script that integrates into so many services with such a low fee. All right. So the next thing is we have lockers, which basically gives you the ability to lock content. And then you have showcases, which is basically the front end forms. You can create register forms, login forms, and change the style and, and the template design subscription plan forms. We have account pages and member lists. So that's just showing how things look. And then of course you have social logins. So if you want people to have the ability to log in to your membership site, via their Facebook social account, their Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, and all these other social services, then all you have to do is simply click on one of them and then integrate into Facebook. And that will allow them to do that. Basically all this does is it makes it more user friendly so that people don't have to remember their username and password. All they have to do is simply log in into their social login. Next, we have the coupons, which allows you to create coupons. And that's pretty self-explanatory. And then you have lock rules. So you can lock specific pages and posts depending on certain target users. And I'll show you more about that in just a minute. And then of course you have payment history, you have notifications. So you have basically email notifications and you can customize the email templates however you wish. And it specifically tells you, okay, this email is going to the user. This email is going to you as the administrator. And then of course, next we have magic features, which gives you the ability to add additional taxes, opt-in settings. You can integrate with WooCommerce. You can integrate with all these other things like BuddyPress, you have membership cards. Uh, you have invitation codes. There's a lot of really cool features that you can literally add to your membership script. And you have order invoices so that you can provide printable invoices for each order into the account page. So that's great for being compliant with other countries. And then of course, under general options, we have the ability to create default pages. So things like the register page or subscription page or login or logout or user account page. So you have the ability to create these pages or connect them with existing pages. So as you can see, if we click save changes here and we go over to our pages section. You can see 
that the script has automatically created so many different pages at your convenience. And that's pretty much it when it comes to a brief overview of what's inside of this system. So as you can see, there's a good amount of options and features and all that good stuff. Uh, but what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to walk you through step by step to make sure that you understand how to use everything. Welcome back to video number nine. This is setting up and finalizing your setup process for the Ultimate Membership Pro WordPress plugin. And just want to say congratulations. You've reached the end of this course. You have been able to listen all the way through and now we're going to finish everything up. All right. So let's jump right in. Okay. So now I'm going to show you step-by-step -step in more depth, every single one of these features and options. So up at the top, if we click on users, this just allows us to see the existing users. So as of now, there are no users, but you can manually add a new user if you want. Now, as you make sales, of course, this will of course populate, but if you ever have to add a user manually and you have to add them to a specific level, then you can always add their information and then of course select the level. Now, as by default, as I showed you earlier, there are three different levels that are demo levels. There are free demos, free one time, and of course recurring. And then of course you can select a post for account page overview. Now going back to the top. Now, if you click on the ultimate affiliates, what this allows you to do is it allows you to add an affiliate program on top of everything else. But in this case, we're not really going to look into that, but that is an option if you would like to pay to get that extension. And the nice thing about ultimate affiliate pro is there are a ton of other extensions that you can buy to add on top of this WordPress plugin. So like I said, with a member pro you buy it and then everything is inside of it. But because this is so cheap, you, you can add, you know, affiliate programs and other extensions as well. But going back to levels, remember we had a free level and of course we had a pay level. So before you create any pages or anything like that, you want to make sure you create your levels first. So by default, we can see there is a free level and they have access to it lifetime. And of course, billing type, you can see it's free. And then recurrences, it's just a one time. There, there are no recurrences and there is no price. And of course, you'll know for every single one of these levels, you can actually see a subscription link. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to put this short code around your content. And I'll show you more in depth later on, but basically imagine you have a page and on that page, you might have some free content and then you might have some content specific for the one time demo level. So if that's the case and on that page, you want to segment it. So if somebody is free, they can see content, but if it is paid, they see a little link that says, you know, this content is just for paid members only. So if they want to buy, then they click, they buy. But if somebody comes along and they are a member of the one time plan member level, then they will see the content in there. All right. So that's really the whole point of the short codes over here. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So that makes more sense. Now, if we take a look at these levels in more depth, so you can get an idea of the different options, we can see that on a level you can create the slug, which is basically a keyword that will allow you to figure out what it is all about. And of course the level label is what people see. And then of course, level access, you have different access types, you have lifetime, you have limited, so you can limit the members area to a certain amount of days. And then after somebody expires, you can actually move them to a different level. And then of course you have date range, 
you have a start date and an end date. And of course, after they expire, you can move them to another level. And then of course, a regular period. So a period of days, a period of weeks, months, and years. And of course, you can have additional access settings here. And then of course, you have payment types. So obviously, if it's free, there's no options here. But if it is payment, then you can actually specify the level price. So I'm going to show you that in just a minute when we go to a paid level. But right now we are under the free level. So as you can see here, if we move back up to the top and we go back to levels and let's go ahead and choose the recurring level because I know many of you want to learn how to add a recurring level. So you might have a one time kind of a $197 up front like we talked about earlier in the blueprint and of course maybe a $27 recurring fee down here. So let's let's maybe start with the one time offer here. So let's change this instead of a one time let's change this to front end offer. And this is a one time fee so this is lifetime access and additional access settings it says custom wordpress role uh, in this case i'm just going to leave it blank and leave it as the default register option and then of course it says, says special week days level work so basically all this means is that you're giving access to somebody to the members area for the entire week or the weekdays only or the weekend now, for the most of you, it's probably going to be the entire week, but unless you're doing something like, say, for example, coaching or some sort of consulting or, or where, whatever, where they only need to have access during a certain amount of days, perhaps during the weekdays, then you can actually set that there. Then, of course, we have billing options, and let's talk about this in more depth. So we can see right now that this is just a one-time fee, so when you choose payment, the level price is $10, but in this case, we can do $197. And billing recurrences, there it's just a one-time thing. So there is no recurring option. And then we can simply change this, only $197, and click Save Level. So there you have it. We have created a $197 one-time fee level. And then let's change this to the $27 level, which we talked about in our blueprint. So if we click on edit here, we're going to call this the community plan, since that is a recurring item. So every month, so every month we are going to go, go down here, payment. We're going to do level price. That's going to be $27 per month. And then billing on recurrences, we're going to have it ongoing. Now, if you want it limited, so for example, if you want it limited to only seven times or six months, you can do that. So this allows you to run a fixed term membership site. But in this case, we're going to have it ongoing forever because it's a community. You can also do a trial. You can do a trial for a certain period, say, for example, seven days. You can do that as well. Or if you just want to go straight from $197 straight into the recurring, we're going to leave this blank and leave it as zero. So we're going to go down. We're going to click on save level, change the price here, click save level. And there we go. So as you can see here, we have a $197 one time price and then a $27 per month after that. Now that you have created your levels, we can actually move to the payment services. But before we do that, you can click the subscription plan showcase here. And all this does is basically allows you to change the theme. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. These are basically the sign up payment buttons. So you have different themes. And there we go. So these are the different buttons that you could potentially place onto your sales pages.
And of course, as you can see here, there's the short code. So if you place this short code on your WordPress post or page, these buttons here will actually show up and that gives people the ability to go ahead and purchase these plants. Now, the next thing you want to do is just integrate the payment services. So you want to pick and choose the ones that you want. And I will say that these two here are very similar to Stripe. So best bet is just to pick something like PayPal and Stripe or PayPal and authorize.net or to check out. If we click on PayPal right here, you can see that all you need to do is simply enter your PayPal email address. If you enable Sandbox, that basically allows you to test the system out without charging money. And then of course you have the ability to redirect people to a specific page after payment. So you could redirect them to say, for example, a welcome page, a thank you page. Now, same goes with Stripe. You can go up here. You'll need to get your secret key and publishable key. And you can do that by following these directions right here. So you will need to have a Stripe account in order to utilize these services and all these other accounts here. Now, you don't need to have all of these services. Just pick and choose, like I said, either PayPal or Stripe to check out because to check it actually has credit card payments and PayPal or PayPal and authorized.net. So after that, you can go to inside lockers. This all this does is allows you to create lockers which lock content. So as you can see, you can name the locker, you can choose a theme. You can choose say, okay, this content is locked, but or you can log in or here's an additional link. And then basically you can add the content here. So you could add a video, you could add audio or or some sort of something that is of value that somebody wants and in order for them to get it they either have to pay for it or they actually have to log in so you can see what the login looks like the locker looks like and they can see the message here that this content is locked so this basically gives you the ability to create content locking forms which basically build curiosity so in other words if somebody is interested in actually getting into your site and getting that value video audio or gift then they have to take that action if that makes sense and then of course we have showcases which i said earlier all this does is it allows you to create the templates and the change the design and the css style of the register form the login form the subscription plan and all these other options here. And then of course, social login, like I showed you earlier, if you choose Facebook, for example, then you just simply add the application ID and the application secret. Now, in order to activate the Facebook social login so that your users can log in to your membership site, you just follow these details. Pretty step-by-step, self-explanatory. You go to the site, you add a new app, and then Facebook basically gives you these details and then when you add it in and then of course you will activate the social login the same with these other sites you just follow the details step by step and you'll be able to get set up now at this point you can also create coupons so you can generate a coupon or you can create your own you can enter the description the type of discount price or percentage enter the discount value enter a period type so you can either have unlimited or say that this coupon is only available from this date to this date. You can repeat it. You can have it so that the coupon is only available, say, to the front end offer. So if somebody comes in, you can say you can get 50% off the $197 offer, but it's only for that particular level. It's not available for anything else. So that's the nice little feature that you have there. You can also add bulk coupons, which allows you to add and generate a good amount of coupons, that's, which you can give to individuals if you want to. Then of course you have lock rules, which you can see here. You can choose page or post. You can enter the post ID. 
and then you can say all of these pages all of these posts will be blocked for this particular level all right so that's pretty self-explanatory then of course you have payment history which are basically your orders your notifications which is basically your email notifications the emails that the users get and the emails that you get so you can basically tweak them add your very own name to them and all of that and then of course you have magic features which are additional options and integrations and all these different options that will add more value and interaction to your membership site and of course as we talked about earlier general options basically just covers the default pages and then of course you can add a reCAPTCHA and then of course you have messages here we have the ability to customize your menus email verifications and more so really these are all options you don't have to have these now let's talk about pages and posts how do we restrict the pages and posts how do we do things like drip feeding which is what we talked about in the blueprint well if we head on over to pages and let's go ahead and create a new page we'll call this front end video we'll say this module one and to the right hand side you're gonna say show page only for everybody for the free level for the front end offer or for the recurring demo so in this case the front end offers this and the nice thing is this you can also add more levels it's, it's not just pertaining to one level it's pertaining to many levels as you can see here now in this case i'm just going to do front end video because of this i'm assuming that people bought the front end offer and then if not so say for example somebody is not a member of this level then I can redirect them to a specific page or I can replace the content and if you're wondering what kind of content can I replace it with well if you scroll down you can see a replace content box very similar to the box up here but basically you can add a different content into here so if somebody is interested in module one of the front end video course and they are not a member you can add a video here that says well if you're a member you can access this or maybe a pre-sell video that sells this module all right so that's a nice little feature there and next you can also drip feed you can set to release content at a regular interval by creating a schedule of your content so like i said earlier on the blueprint if we had let's say for example 50 videos and we wanted to give five different weeks 10 different videos each week we could select it on and we can say this goes for zero days because they purchased it immediately but if i only wanted to show this say seven days after they have actually subscribed i can do that you can also specify a date as well so maybe i want to give this to them on the first day or we'll just do first day and then of course you can have expiration day now in this case I'm not going to expire it because I don't want the content to expire I want it so that once it's drip fed then they see it forever and that's that's all you have to do so next we click on publish and we can actually go ahead and add a new front end video module 2 we can add the content we can say show page only for the front end offer and then we are going to drip feed and we're going to do it seven days after basically one week after they subscribe we are never going to expire it we are going to click on publish and we are good to go so as you can see very very easy to do that now let's say we want to create a piece of content on the front end and we want to make it so that visitors can actually see the free content but then paid members can see the paid content 
So if we go back over here and we go back to the plugin itself and we go to levels, You'll notice that we have the front end offer and then the free. All right, so we can copy this short code here and we'll call this front page post. And there you go. So you can see level link ID equals one. So this is the free content here. And you can add videos, you can add audios, you can add whatever you want as free content. But then over here, we have the front end offer. And if you do this, you put this short code equals two, then only people that are on the front end $197 offer actually see this content here. And same thing, same goes with other levels as well. If you do that to other levels, only they will actually be able to see that information. So that's how easy it is literally to create content, to make it drip fed, and do all sorts of other options as well. Now, if you go back here and you click on Extensions Plus, you will see that the Ultimate Membership Pro also has the ability to expand. So in addition to this, which is what we have, we can add an affiliate program. If you scroll down, you can do other things like backup and clone and other different extensions as well. But to be honest, what I feel like is this one right here is very, very powerful. And then of course you can add the affiliate program over here. Now, do you really need all of this? Not necessarily. In fact, in my opinion, this runs a very basic website and you can add this if you want to. Apart from that, I don't really feel like you really need all these other extensions here. In fact, if you want a really good backup and cloning and migration type WordPress plugin, I would recommend Duplicator Pro. In my opinion, that is one of the best and very, very easy to install. So that way you can rely on different plugins that in my opinion are much more powerful. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson as I showed you everything from the overview to actually how to customize the settings to actually how to set things up.